Hey guys, things are going to get techie and we're going to take a look at our APC battery backup. Woo woo! And of course it comes with an instruction manual, which also comes with a coaxial cable and a USB communication cable. Very good. And then of course you can register your product online so then you can apply for the warranty. Woohoo! Woo woo! <laughs> Okay, and then this is just, let's see, oh, safety information, yes. Like, don't operate this in the sunshine or in the rain, duh. <laughs> uh, and let's see, what else is this? This is probably some more safety information. I actually don't know. It's not telling us what it is. Uh, let's open it here. What is this? Oh, it's in a different language. Oh, the po this policy is not a warranty. Yeah, it's just telling us, oh, if there's equipment damage and what to do, blah, blah, blah. Okay, we don't need this right now. <laughs> and, oh yeah, and of course the cables. I'll show you guys. Wanna. All right, so, let's see which is which. Oh, we're just gonna tear it open. <laughs> okay. All right, tie. And what cables were we having? Okay. So one is gonna be the, oops, you know, disorganized. Okay, so one is going to be the coaxial cable, which I believe that's what this is. See, 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 see. All right, and then the USB communication cable. Yep, this is this one. I see the little USB guy there. They're turning everything into USB-Cs nowadays though. At least we have those little guys that can make a USB into a USC. So anyway, here's the little USB and then the other dude, the communication cable. See, little guy. And voila! And here we have the APC backup. Ooh, it's a heavy guy. <laughs> so I did unwrap it a little bit so we could get a better look at all the plugins here. It's heavy. <laughs> okay, and here you go. We have like a data port, and we have, of course, all these fools right here. Uh, when plugging in all your devices in the back of the UPS, not all outlets are the same. Six of them will have power surge and battery backup, and the remaining four will only protect against surge. When everything is set up, Remember to connect your data cable to the UPS and your computer. You'll connect the RJ45 connector to the port on the back of the UPS, labeled data, and the USB to any available USB ports. This will allow your computer to communicate with the UPS, getting battery status updates, such as when it switches to battery due to power outage and battery duration. This also gives your computer additional power options so that your computer can shut off safely. They also have a 1350 and 1500 model, supporting 810 watts and 900 watts respectively. All three models have the same features, six batteries and surge and only four surge outlets. They have a single USB-A and USB-C port on the front that supports up to three amps. They do share power, so keep that in mind if you have two power hungry devices connected. When's the best time to get a battery, you ask? Well, right now. At least in California, summer has started, which could mean more blackouts. Blackouts can cause you to lose data or even corrupt your data, so... Ah. Thanks for watching. This has been Tracy with Bane Soft Games. If you like what you saw, you can like or leave a comment. Would you like to help support our channel? You can do so by heading on over to our Patreon. Don't forget to subscribe and click that bell.